What's up, everybody? I'm your boy, John Boy, and I'm here by myself, which happens a lot to me. Uh, we don't really do cannabis stuff anymore. Me and old buddy, yeah, we don't, we don't live too close to each other anymore. Don't talk a lot. But anyways... You know, I just want to keep the channel active, let y'all know I'm alive, for the most part. Kind of what I'm doing these days. Um, I had to leave hometown to get closer to my son. So uh, now we're out on stepmom's farm, rebuilding our life. We're trying to uh, work on a rouse about crew. That's a... Uh, it's kind of like the the do all of uh, oil rigs. I don't actually work for the rig. I work for a company that services the rigs, wash out pits, move some tools around. It's all right. It's kind of fun. It's uh, first job I've had fun at in a long time. Um, still smoking cannabis, of course. Still uh, loving life, hating polies. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't hate. Anyway, so I was out here by myself, 11 something at night. Can't really go down the pond because there's a cougar in the area. We haven't seen or heard coyotes in weeks or in a week. But uh, yeah, I'm just out here getting some copper. Good, clean copper. So I thought I'd show y'all what I'm doing. What I have over here is a motor out of um, an HVAC unit fan. Uh, <clears throat> what I've done is removed it from its uh, metal casing. Put a trusty old grinder. These things, no joke. I almost cut my finger off the other night. But then again, that wasn't my fault. I was crammed up underneath someone's undercarriage of their work truck trying to uh, hack their bed off their frame. Almost lost a finger. Had shrap shrapnel in my eye. Picked some out of my cheek. It was fun. It was fun. You know? But anywho, so if you're familiar with these, what these motors do, This is beautifully woven and braided copper. That's going to net me about $3 and some change per pound. It's woven on both sides. Hey! You don't have to fight me next if you don't chill out! puppies star our farm dog got uh got knocked up back around christmas huh not around christmas she had her pups around christmas huh yeah and uh we still got four very rowdy boys to get rid of well no we only have two because one's mine one's my roommate you probably meet him on some future videos all right, kid. He works hard. He's a good kid. Um, but anyway, so this braid, this copper braid was on both sides. The smartest thing to do is just cut all the way through those. I didn't cut into the metal. I just cut flush with. And uh, come across a lot of these insulating pieces. It's so that it doesn't ground itself out, I'm guessing, or I don't know. I'm not an electrician. I'm just a scrapper. But, um, so I cut the back ends off. See what we got going on there. And then I'm using this file. And this hammer. To push it out. God dang. God dang, kids. Bam. You know what I'm talking about? And then it gives us more leverage over here to prime out with my trusty 
pry bar which I lose 37 times a day. Ah! It's a really big flathead that I got mad originally trying to take this out or the other one out and broke it. So now it's a pry bar. Sweet right. Ah, I'm not a professional at this. I don't have any advice. I just tell you what I'm doing. Hopefully you see it work. See how that goes? And if you cut it well enough, it kind of welds itself. Right there. Oh, come on, mate. Move the lighting around. I'm not going to go until you do it. Man. Huh. Well, I guess I suck. Hey, you got to see it. Anyway, it's welded itself. If not... Then you'll have to uh, definitely wear gloves as you twist it. Because the neater you give it to them, the more likely they are to give you top dollar. Um, I've kind of come to the conclusion that the more work you do for them, the more money they'll give you. Because they make a pretty good turnaround on this. Opening up a scrapyard would be relatively easy. Just need some land. And a willingness to junk it out. Which I do not have at my stepmom's. But, uh, you know, we were going to do a lot out here. We've done a lot out here. We've learned a lot, done a lot, had a lot of fun. Chased a lot of coyotes. Learned a lot of things by ourselves. I guess that's the, the best way I learned, is on my own. I, uh, I don't really get along with too many people these days. That's why the few bonds that I still have, I, I cherish very deeply. And it affects me emotionally, even physically. Need I say spiritually. Whenever uh, one of those bonds have reached their expiration date or... Just been lost. Bonkers. Even the strongest welds will break given the right amount of pressure. So yeah, I mean, you know, uh, there for a little while. I was, whenever I got here, I was working with Walmart. It was cool. It was alright, it was something different, something new. I learned a bunch of stuff. Mainly that Walmart is a huge, huge conglomerate that is failing, believe it or not. So all the people who are down with the man, or against the man, and don't like the oppressors, keep doing what you're doing because it's affecting Walmart bad. There are mystery shoppers who make more than... People who've worked there for 20 fucking years. Yeah. At Walmart, you only get a... 0.25% raise every year or something. It equivalates out to like 20 cents. I mean, there are people there who are still making... Who are like been there for 20 years. And they're making sub $20. I wish... Well, I wash my pits for about that. Pits. Oh god. Pretty much take all the nastiest, deepest, darkest of the shit that goes through an oil rig. Add in some red dye diesel. Some sand. This stuff that I can only say looks like jizz from a racehorse that is severely dehydrated. You mix it all together. 
and uh, you have pretty much what is in a uh, oil rig pit. It's fun though. My first job I was out for 34 hours, and I mean working. I got a five minute nap, a handful of breaks. I met some cool guys, learned more about how our uh, our nation's gas and oil company work. It's good stuff. Yeah. Anyways, let me get back to this for a minute. Maybe think of something else to talk to y'all about. Uh, I know for all my, most of my subscribers, this is going to be boring as hell content but i never promised y'all the world so you know i guess i'll do the something you never really heard a youtuber say and that's a feel free to unsubscribe <laughs> and un unlike if you have to i'm gonna keep your views though those are mine as the creator and like perter of this uh channel i will be keeping all views and all videos because they're mine. That's how it works when you own something. You know? If one of those videos were to get me sued, who's going to go to the lawsuit? Who's going to go to court? If one of those videos were to make me rich, yeah, that'd be nice. It would be cool for one thing to go viral and then just be able to really parlay that into a career. That'd be a cool little dream. Ow! It hurts. Physical pain is the easy one to get over. It's that other pain I was talking about earlier. That's that shit sticks to you forever. It almost hit me in the face. Like I don't know what it was. I was cutting, and I already had my thumb up like this, like an idiot. Whenever I do stuff. And I just went to turn it off and, you know, almost hit me right in my eyes. It was coming right for my face, boss. I didn't know what to do. But yeah, usually I have this in the vice, but we're making good, we're making good pace. I also have, uh, you know those radiators out of HVACs? Full of copper. And all that, that steel surrounding it. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, those aren't those aren't aluminum radiators. Those are steel. But uh, yeah, that's all gets you money. I mean, work a full time job. And on your board time or your downtime, just fuck around with some old metal, turn into a pretty good profit. I can promise you, most of it you're going to get for free. And the price of all metals may fluctuate, but they're only trending up. I really don't know of a metal that's not going to trend up in the future. Seeing as how we continuously exploit the rations the earth provides, those rations will eventually become none. And then we'll have to salvage everything we have now I've also learned where to find more silver silver peaked at a dollar a gram the other day whenever I started collecting silver it was at 65 cents and you know they always say well silver it's an unstable market well get you a big enough chunk and invest in it Sell when it's high. It's just like any other stock. Buy low, sell high. Stock. Taking stock. Stocking on yourself. Did you know what I was gonna do ostrich? I was gonna I was gonna have ostriches. I was gonna try to do a little raw ostrich farm. Expensive buggers. Mean. But 
Let's say I were to buy an egg. I could buy an ostrich egg from anywhere $50 to $150, one egg. That's uh, depending on, you know, quality of, of genetics and whatnot. So let's say I buy a $75 egg. Mm, yeah. Not trying to yawn on camera. Um, buy that egg. I managed to hatch that egg, which... Which uh, isn't easy to do. Even in the wild, under the best parents. Excuse me, I gotta go get seven cents. Come here. It adds up. So you that 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 chick is grown, but not grown. Sorry, the chick hatches. It takes its first steps. It learns how to eat, and immediately it goes from a seventy-five dollar egg to a five hundred dollar chick. It's five hundred dollars, and that's not even average. That's what you sell them for. It's crazy. 90 days after that, they're worth a thousand. 90 days after that, 1500. They top off somewhere, you know, just your average ass bird, a few thousand dollars. Better than a cow, and that's fact. Um, yeah, a uh, pound of meat goes between 12 15 dollars. You ain't getting that under no regular ass Angus. But people change their minds. You know, I didn't value my name as a young man, so I don't have any collateral. Uh, there are so many government loans right now for small farms. Like, I guess this, uh, Hmm. This presidency wanted to focus a lot on people using the land they have, but not altering it. So, you know, not non-invasive uh, farming. I mean, if somebody knew what they were doing, they could go get a greenhouse, put it in their backyard, plant three different kind of plants that are on the government's beneficial list for natural remedies and medicinal purposes. Uh, they even have cannabis grants. Shh. Uh, and, um, they get $30,000 a fucking year. 30 grand. Had a lot of plans. But, like I said, I didn't value my name as a young man, so nobody's gonna do it now as I'm getting older. 41. 41. I asked where the time went, but I know exactly where. Went, went to selling drugs, gang banging, fighting, jail, prison. I didn't have a father around. See, so, you know, I didn't really know how to value my name as a man. I do now, though. I also learned how to, there's probably not a, I can fix small engines now. You should hear my craftsman a lawn tractor. No surging, fires right up, sounds beautiful. Thing's fucking 20 years old. Wait, no. It's like 12 years old. Yeah. I don't know. I always found it fun and therapeutic to uh, hop on here and just kind of talk. Like I said, I don't. I'm not gonna hit you with no crazy knowledge or wow you with my skills. I just, I don't know. Maybe you're bored at midnight.
looking for some BS content to look at. No, maybe I can accumulate an audience. Shut up! You gonna get that cougar up your ass? I only got a little thirty-eight. What am I supposed to do? I'm just kidding. I got a blade over here. Chop it right in half. <laughs> here, let me show you. I rebuilt the tip myself. The tip was broken. Busted out the old grinder. Learned how to do that. All by myself. I'll whack him right in half with this. I'm 6'3". That's a knife. It'd be fun. I tried to set a coyote trap. And, uh... Something big out there tripped my trap. Cased around where I had it. It was perfectly set off and where you wouldn't see it in the grass. You know, some animal walking through the trail line mode out in the back forward. He goes, huh? oh, look, meat. You know, trap, done. I got you. Ha ha. Got the coyote. Bam. I got me a fur, whatever. Nope. Some very large animal walked around, tripped the trap, squashed all the grass down. It knew what it was doing. Either that or it was a person. But anywho, I went over to the natural spring about 30 paces over to the south of the trap. And uh, there was all the, the uh, footprints I needed to see. Went around, swung around, got the henny up to the house. A henny, it's like a donkey. I think it's a donkey and a female horse. I don't know. It's 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 a fucking horse. It's a horse. That's what it looks like to me. It's a little mini. It's a little smaller horse. And she doesn't doesn't do that. Doesn't do that. He goes talk shit to me all the time. But I made a daily routine to go out there and check on her. She's got these lame feet. Doing a lot better than last year, but she got weird feet. Some wrong. She, she hops around. Can't remember what it's called. My great auntie used to uh, sell sperm from her thoroughbred. I never found that quite appealing, so I didn't really listen to them as they spoke around the dinner table during visits. I just knew she had a big old fancy rich house. You could throw a shoelace with a piece of bubble gum in there and pull out a five five pound bass out of their community pond. It was beautiful. Up there in Oklahoma City. That's where I'm from. In case y'all didn't know. If you want to, leave in the comments where you're from. That'd be great. I always check my comments. Even, hell, three years later, I'm still responding to stuff. No. And by the way, no, I'm not a tweaker, assholes. Skinny by nature. I come from four generations of Crohn's disease, dipshits. I know I look like I'm tweaking. Well, welcome to the world of them pumping you up on fucking Ritalin whenever you're eight years old. Fucking misdiagnosed ADHD. But yeah. Stop calling me a tweaker. Face. See? I'm almost done, so I'm getting excited. I'm about to screw up these perfect braids. That's another thing I've had wrong with my life. Seems right before I get to the finish line. I don't know. Just never get there. But, that is my curse to deal with. I'm going to deal with the muscle. It's adding up. It's adding up. If you get a if you get a pace and like you know get your technique down, um, it's actually worth a low amount. I mean, it's I could be in my room ignoring the world, playing fucking Fortnite against some eight year old who's kicking the shit out of me because he's playing with expanded software. And, uh, or I could be out here 
fresh air. Enjoying life. You know, I have a lot to complain about, but I try not to. I mean, I do complain. It's second nature to me. That same time, complaining kind of helps me sort things out. It's kind of like any other problem. If you and, you and a person have a problem, the worst any anybody can do for either sides is to shut the fuck up about it. Speak on it. Get it heard. Might bring resolution. Might bring conflict. One thing it's not doing is bringing stagnancy. Or contempt. At least people know where the other one stands. In any given situation. Because it, it... Let me be honest with you. It really is truly some bitch shit. To just... Ghost. Or, um... Leave the relationship unresolved. You know what I mean? Like, how hard is it just go, hey, I've grown. You've grown in a different direction. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. It's not hard. Especially with me. I'm the last person who wants to be around somebody who does not want to be around them. It uh, creates alienation. Like, uh, to alienate somebody out of a comfortable situation that they're not doing any harm in. It's like, okay, so like, uh, I guess if you like, help put it this way, uh, say you were just sitting in your living room and I come in there and I just fart right in your face. And I just walk it around the room, you know, turn on your fan, shut your windows, turn your heater on. I've really just pushed you out of that room. Alienating somebody. That's bullshit. Go find some, some other room to be in. Go find somewhere that enjoys your company. Because there's really not... I mean, you can look around in America today and, uh... Like these freaks like Ted Bundy and all these people. Millions of women love them. Admired by men. You know what I mean? Real just... Shit shows of human beings. So, I mean, everybody can find somebody to like them. They can find somebody that likes them. So, I mean, you know. Anyway, there's my advice. Here, check this out. If anybody could tell me a good way of stripping fucking wire without losing your mind, that'd be great. I'm still so, I don't know what you said, Christina. I'll, I'll hit you up later. That's a uh, friend lives down the street. It's not a street. I live out in the country. Anywho. But yeah, if you can tell me how to get this goddamn copper wire out easier, see what I've done is I take two screws. Oh no. Oh shit. Hey guys, I gotta go out to work. Sorry. Love you. Back on the rig we go.